don't you wonder why we fall in love? I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone wonders what it's like to be in love. Some of us have a grip on it. And the rest of us are still kind of looking for it. I mean, sometimes maybe we just get too lazy to actually look for it. What if it's just right in front of us? I mean, maybe we wait for love to find us instead. Or maybe we close our eyes too much and wish for love. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe to the point where love was right in front of us the whole entire time. And for all you know, you don't even realize it's like right there, right in front of you. What if we don't want love? And, and the reason why we close our eyes in the first place is because we really don't want it. <laughs> I mean, we could close our eyes all we want, and we'll never find love, even if it's right in front of you. Well, I don't know. Why wouldn't you want love? Is isn't it the greatest thing ever? Wouldn't you be the happiest person ever? Or what? What if? It, what if love's just a big lie? The biggest lie of feelings. I mean, what if love was just an excuse for feelings? I mean, you look at these movies and you wonder, is love like a movie? I mean, do you really go around and for some odd reason, a lucky person just comes out of nowhere and there, there she is, or he is, just standing right in front of you. And for some odd reason, they love you too. Yeah. I mean, if only, if only movies showed what true love was. Love never comes the same way as in the movies. Because movies like to picture love as something so sweet and so simple. Yet, love is something that is that might actually end up killing you <laughs> love could cause so many problems that you might just want to throw you just might want to kill yourself for the stupidest re reason ever i mean why else would you want to be in love if you're just going to end up killing yourself right so that's maybe why we close our eyes, huh, huh, huh. Yeah. Or, we actually do find the person we love. And, it may be highly unlikely to find the person you love in just the snap, you know, just something like that. But, time is key. You give yourself time and you're going to find the person you love. Or some people like to say, time my ass. Where love might just be impossible for them. Am I right? Wrong? Yes? No? Well, who cares? I myself have found love. Or at least I think I have. Some people like to call me a liar. Some people say, oh no, you're just infatuated. Or maybe this girl's just catching your mind. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm in love. I'm pretty sure I'm in love. I love this girl a lot. I mean, I talk to her all the time. Day and night. Then again, I wonder, does she love me back?
Hmm. It's a big question. I mean, how close can you come to love without actually reaching love? It's it's all a big mystery. Love is something that you'll never understand, I swear. No matter how long you love someone, you're never going to know the real reason why you're in love. So that's why you should just grab a book or something to read and pass time on. I mean, it's not like you're going to find the answer for love in a book or something. Maybe you will, huh? Maybe there's all those authors that just make those miracle books that say, Oh, this is love. Love is this. Love is that. that. <laughs> Whatever. You'll never find out what love is in a book. You can only feel love. And plus, love can't be described. It's just a mysterious feeling. And that's not a description. <laughs> Sometimes, love will, it will really, really rip your heart out. It's going to rip your heart out, no matter what. One way or another, it's going to rip your heart out. I mean, one minute you're talking to the girl of your dreams, the next minute, she hangs up on you. And what am I supposed to think? My girlfriend hangs up on me. Fudge. Yeah, who gives a crap anymore? You know, it, it's it's kind of hard. Love really hurts. That's why it's all about the real and fake love. Tell the difference between each other. Yep, that's it. That's it right there.